welcome back to my channel i'm in my room i'm cozy i've got my robe on honestly i really wanted to get this video out for you guys it's a perfume one so if you like perfumes this is a video for you to watch and basically i'm gonna be going through aldi joe malone dupes so because it's coming up to christmas um aldi released special buys and this time around they have reintroduced their joe malone inspired fragrances from the hotel collection they're right there right here if you want to know more about these fragrances stay tuned make sure you subscribe and click the bell notification button so you don't miss any of my videos and yeah i'm gonna get right into it these perfumes were released Sunday the 6th of December. <laughs> okay guys, my fiance is sleeping, making funny faces. This is why I don't film at night, cause say hello to the people. Say hello. Oh gosh. <laughs> so the first fragrance that I will be showing you guys is this one. Number 14, Velvet Rose or the Parfum and it looks like this i will do close-up shots the packaging is very identical to joe malone i'm just gonna open it so this is what the bottle looks like it's a black clear it's kind of clear you can see how much liquid is in there i believe the joe malone perfumes come in a black bottle but silver lid so i'm just gonna read the notes for you guys the top note in this perfume is cloves is it cloves clove middle is damask rose anglewood and praline a very woody tangy velvety rose kind of scent on the aldi website it describes this perfume as being fresh there's nothing fresh about this perfume it's very woody i do smell rose i smell a little bit of praline it kind of reminds me of Tom Ford Velvet Orchid. Just gonna spray it. Mm. Oh, this is actually really, really nice. It smells like the cheaper version of a Velvet Orchid but with a bit more rose in it. Just to give you a reference, if you guys have smelled Tom Ford Velvet Orchid, this is very, very similar. Now I did spray this a few days ago and the projection is good, but the lasting power isn't. This lasts for about three or four hours on your body, which I think is good for a Aldi perfume. This retails for $5.99, so it's a bargain. And this also is in 100 ml. It smells very rosy. I get a lot of rose in this perfume. I would not say that this is a fresh smell. It's definitely not fresh. It's definitely thick and potent, maybe even headache-ish. Yeah, but it smells really nice. This is definitely one that I'll be keeping in my collection. If you want to be bougie on a budget, this is the fragrance you need. In terms of dupe, as I mentioned, this is a dupe for Jo Malone, in particular, the Jo Malone Velvet Rose and Oud. In the Jo Malone fragrance, the top notes are also Damask, Oud Wood, Clove, and that's it. <laughs> so they both have Damask and they both have a Clove, um, but this perfume in particular has Praline and Anglewood, and that's the only difference. So as you can see, the notes are very, very similar. And because the Jo Malone perfume also has Oud, I can imagine it being much more heavier than this perfume. But I definitely would rate this maybe a seven out of 10. I think it's really nice. I think the presentation's really nice. So beautiful. Ah, oh, and it smells amazing too. You can't go wrong. It's $5.99, guys. You can't go wrong with $5.99. Another good thing about this perfume is that it's cruelty free, which means it has not been tested on animals, which is also a bonus. I think out of all my Aldi perfumes, this has to be the best one in terms of presentation, smell. I'm really happy I got my hands on this one. Um, and that's it. So this one is number 14, Velvet Rose. This is the second perfume and this is number one, 
lime, basil and mandarin, also an eau de parfum in 100ml and it looks like this, you guys see. I'll come, I'll do close up shots so you guys can see. But it's in a clear bottle, and this one actually has a silver lid. This one basically just tells you what's in the note. So it says here lime, basil, and mandarin. So I can imagine this being very citrusy, um, very sharp, very fresh. Mmm. It almost. Whew, it almost reminds me of bathroom cleaning products. I don't know why, I think it's because of the lime. It's very fresh, very sharp. Top notes of lime, mandarin, orange, and bergamot. The middle notes are basil, lilac, iris, and thyme. And then the base notes are patchouli and vetiver. Is that how you say it? Vetiver, 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 I don't know. But those are the notes in this perfume. And this is a dupe of the Jo Malone London Lime, Basil and Mandarin. They're not even hiding the names. The names are exactly the same as the Jo Malone perfumes. They, they have no shade at all. So the notes in the actual Jo Malone perfume are Lime, Mandarin, Bergamot, basil, white thyme and patchouli. Very identical in terms of notes. Now I've never been a fan of Jo Malone just because I feel like it's a more mature smell. But in terms of the first spray, the projection is very strong. Um, it's a crisp smell. This isn't something that I would personally wear, but it's something I could see an older woman wearing, maybe to work, um, a working mother. That's the kind of smell I get with this perfume. Now, I haven't sprayed this on my body yet, but I can imagine that the lasting power is similar to Velvet Rose being four to five hours. This is also described on the Aldi website as being a fresh perfume. Out of 10, I would probably give it a five just because it isn't something that I would personally wear. This is too cold for winter. But yeah, that is this one. Hmm. Jo Malone, you got competition, girl. You got competition. Last but not least, you have number three, pomegranate. And it looks very similar to the lime, basil, and mandarin fragrance. I hope I like it. I don't know. I personally am not a fan. However, I can appreciate the it's an acquired smell. You know, not everyone can wear Jo Malone. And that's including me. So the top notes in this perfume are raspberry, pomegranate, plum, rhubarb, and watermelon. In terms of middle notes, you have lily of the valley, jasmine, rose, pink pepper, and clove. And then the base notes are Virginia, cedar, patchouli, musk, and amber. So a lot of notes there. And the back of my hand. I'm starting to get the pink pepper. I personally don't like pink pepper in my fragrances. Mm. Yeah, this is a strong smell, very sharp and not very pleasant. It's not a pleasant smell. It's quite harsh on the nose. When I first sprayed it, I got a lot of watermelon, but now that it's drying down, I'm getting musk and I'm getting a lot of pink pepper. The pink pepper in this perfume is very, very prominent. This is again, another fresh fragrance. I cannot see myself wearing this. I think it's an acquired smell. If Jo Malone perfumes in fact do smell like this, I haven't smelled all of them, I smell a few, but I do get this vibe, a, a mature lady, a classy lady who doesn't wanna smell like everyone else. This is a dupe of pomegranate noir cologne jo malone like the names are literally the same the names are exactly the same they have not even tried to hide the fact that they are duping jo malone now i'm gonna read out the notes of the actual jo malone uh pomegranate noir fragrance patchouli and pink pepper Casablanca Lily and Spicy Notes. The Audi Perfume has more notes than the original Jo Malone Pomegranate Noir. It's not a vibe. This is not a vibe. This is actually quite a manly smell. Yeah, you could give this to a man and they could wear it and it'll be fine. 
it's not light it's not subtle at all if i could rate this one this is my least favorite and i'll give this a three just because i never ever wear perfumes like this it's just not i'm sweet and musk vanilla that is my smells if you guys can recommend any fragrances that have pink pepper that i would like and is sweet at the same time please do let me know but yeah i am not feeling this one at all that is the end of my video guys out of the three fragrances the velvet rose has to be my favorite it resembles velvet orchid tom ford so much apart from it's much more rosy and it has less of the oud in terms of my least favorite i would say my least favorite is number three pomegranate it's just very sharp and i don't like pink pepper at all if you are on a budget then i will definitely recommend the aldi joe malone inspired perfumes they're really budget friendly they're only six pounds each and they would make a perfect gift the packaging comes really nicely and they also have like candles and diffusers so if you want to do like a hamper of some sort i would definitely recommend you try out aldi there's loads of things now available at aldi now that christmas is approaching so yeah that is my final thoughts i will do maybe an updated video and let you know what the lasting power is there isn't much reviews on this perfume because it is new so you never know when they're going to come back around but i do know that they sell these perfumes whenever there is a special occasion anyway guys Guys, I hope you liked the video. Let me know in the comment section if you managed to purchase any of the fragrances and which one out of the three were your favourites. If you did purchase any, if you didn't, go and purchase some now so you can have a discussion in the comment section. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching my video. For those who are new here, my name is Jennifer, is on and I'll be uploading twice a week, um, Wednesdays and Sundays. So stay tuned if you want to see beauty, makeup, fashion lifestyle related content and for those who are returning thank you so much for watching another one of my videos and i'll see you guys in my next one bye